Well, this week, our I-team got help for a woman who had a dangerous tree dangling dead branches above her yard. Now, the company that stepped in to solve the problem needs some help, too. Here's investigative reporter PJ Rendawa. It's a cynical saying, no good deed goes unpunished. Unfortunately, in this case, it's true. <laughs> Let's not fool ourselves. I can't afford to do it. I just do it. Me and the guys, it makes us feel really good. When it seemed no one with Granite City would help Amy Kerber deal with the dangerous tree next door, a complete stranger, <laughs> Lance Howard with Mad Cow Tree Service, offered to help for free. His crew trimmed the branches that kept falling and injuring Amy's little dog, Toby. But just hours after our story about Lance's good deed aired, they, they got me, they got me pretty good. All the doors, all the trucks was open. The container was wide open. $50,000 worth of Mad Cow's equipment was stolen in the middle of the night. Every chainsaw, uh, even, even our gas can, piece of small equipment we had, a dump trailer. Lance says the container was as secure as he could make it. He even bought these specialized locks that couldn't be cut. So how did the thieves get in? Well, they actually ended up cutting up a part of the container itself. All I could see was... Uh, my guys being on unemployment and not knowing what we was going to do. It was, uh, it was pretty sad, really. Lance has a full-time crew of six workers, and he does free tree work to help veterans and first responders like Amy as often as he can. Doing a job um, next week for a, a disabled military veteran. You know, when people do something like this, it's a hard hit for somebody like me to be able to do that anymore. Luckily, early Saturday, Lance was tipped off that some of his equipment was dumped on a back road. Fingerprints and tire tracks were found at the scene. And Lance says homes nearby do have surveillance cameras, which could help track down the thieves and the rest of his missing equipment, valued between twenty and $25,000. They just can't go around doing this to people. It's, I'm sure I'm not the only one that they've done this to. As for what's next, Lance says he'll be back to work on Monday. Tools or no tools? I was telling my guys, I was like, we're still going to work. I had one chainsaw that I had was in the trunk of my car at the time, and one of them was in my garage. So I had two chainsaws, so we were still going to go to work. I was going to figure out a way. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side. Mad Cow is offering a $5,000 reward for information on the thefts. They've also set up a GoFundMe site to help get them some new equipment. You can find the link to that site right now on our website at ksdk.com.